Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. Amplifiers come in many shapes and sizes and so do cars, so your options are plentiful when it comes to where you're going to mount that amplifier. Oftentimes, we put an amplifier underneath the passenger seat of the car where it can't even be seen. Now this is going to depend on that type of seat that's there, especially if it's a power seat, and how much space there's going to be for the amplifier to breathe. If all looks clear and there's plenty of space, it's going to go underneath the passenger seat. If not, there are plenty of other spaces we can mount it. Sometimes we mount the amplifier to the back of a subwoofer box, sometimes to the back of the back seat in the trunk, sometimes underneath the rear deck. It's really going to depend on the car and it's really going to depend on the type of insulation that you're looking for. Sometimes you're going to want your amplifier to be seen. Sometimes it looks great. We hide all the wires, we mount it in a nice spot where it's visible, and we can put neon lights on it to really accent it. Sometimes, especially in SUVs, we're presented with a unique situation where we can hide an amplifier completely behind a panel. If you're doing an installation yourself, make sure that there's plenty of room for the amplifier to breathe, at least two inches, and make sure there's an area for air to get out from that panel. If there's not enough airflow, your amplifier could overheat and your speakers could cut out.